friends, we are officially back at Lake Gunnersville and we are way up a creek today at a spot that I really enjoy fishing in the spring. Um, we got pad stems all over the place, shallow water. I mean, honestly, this is a hotbed for bed fishing, no pun intended. So we're getting out here today, guys, to continue this run of entertaining you during this downtime that we're all going through right now. So uh, kick back, enjoy this video. Let's see how many bed fish we can get out there and find. Here we go. There we go. Nice little two pounder, just like that, my friends. We're throwing a six inch weightless Yamamoto Senko. There we go, guys. We're gonna get plenty more of these. I'll let him get back. That's a male. Today's really gonna just be about catching uh, numbers, having fun until we find that that bed fish that is large and in charge i'm just going to keep moving around all right so this area right here where i can't really see bottom the swim jig's going to be it i better go to Dirty jig, swim jig, with a four inch green pumpkin rage swimmer. Swim jig is a really good bait to go to around pad stems, especially during the spawn. It's a great go-to bait. Literally in the middle of saying, all right, well, the swim jig's not gonna do it for us, and boom! That thing just came and smoked and took off. I'm gonna speed it up a bit since that one came to annihilate it when it was going fast. Here we go, guys. Oh, this one thing is a good fish. Oh, it's got a... Uh, not a bad fish on the swim jig, my friends. My rod kind of... This selects ring just came off, but... On the swim jig. I sped it up, gave it an erratic action, and just like that. There we go. Beautiful. Here we go, guys. Nice little two and a half, three pounder on the swim jig. Adios, my friend. Sharp teeth. Oh, that was sick. So a moment ago, I was bringing this swim jig, kind of slow rolling it, and I was about maybe 10 yards off the boat, and I just said, screw it, I'm gonna bring it back. I'm gonna switch up my rod, throw the throw the Senko, and I sped it up to me, and boom, this thing comes up, hits it right at the boat. You guys saw that. All right, well, I'll, I'll see if I can speed it up, be a little more erratic. Cast it out, sped it up, boom. I felt like I was caught up on something real quick, and then I felt it get real heavy. Set the hook, man. I had him deep in the side of his cheek, man. I mean, that was hard to get the hook out. But uh, dirty jigs, giant, gnarly hooks meant for this kind of fishing, no doubt about it. That was absolutely sick. Let's see if we can get a few more. I do want to find some on bed specifically, but I am going to throw the swim jig a few more times. But uh, we are not done with the Senko. But let's, uh, let's get back in there, see what we can get, guys.
Still throwing the jackal. Black gill pattern frog. Oh my gosh, did you guys see that? I got him for a moment, but he came off. There's a little guy. He got hooked, so I doubt. I doubt he's gonna be smacking after it that many times again. Oh, he broke off, no! God, that was such a good fish. <sighs> I doubt it's gonna bite again. But I have to at least try again. It's 15 pound line, five aught hook, has a six inch Senko. Now I'm throwing a five inch in the magic green pumpkin color. It's got it. Oh my God, how did it? Okay, just got my, it's a bed right there. It got my Senko that time. Loosen my drag a little bit. It's gotta be a bed right here. Went to the same exact spot and it swam off with it. Yep, he's got it, he's got it. You gotta be kidding me. Gotta be kidding me. This must be the male. Let's see if it has a hook in its mouth. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Look at that, guys. Look at that. There we go, guys. I was a little bit heartbroken when that one broke off, but uh, let's let him go. There you go, buddy. All right, I gotta cast back into it. God, I love fishing. I gotta retie though. You cannot deny the power of the good old original Yamamoto Senko. It's just, just G status for sure. Bit at it. He's got it. Get you up to him. That's a good fish, guys. Oh, it's a good fish. Oh, I guess I'm fighting him still. Yes. Yes.
Hold up, girl. All right. Whew, we had to get it out of you. Get out of here. Had to do a little bit of surgery. I got that out of her. No blood. Twisted it out. Didn't mess up her gills. I mean, that is a uh, that is a sketchy process, man. I do not want to kill these fish. I don't want to harm these fish to where they die. You know, an hour later, you want them swimming off nice and healthy. What a fish, though, guys. Truly an amazing bait. 5 aught KVD Mustad hook with a little worm stopper. 5 inch Green Pumpkin Magic Yamamoto Senko. Quality fish today for sure. Still not a fish of a lifetime. I mean, I'm not complaining in the slightest. You know, guys, we're on a quest to catch fish of a lifetime, truly. And, um, you know, these just aren't fish of a lifetime. We're looking for those eight plus pounders. I mean, those are the size fish that we're looking for. PV breakers, big old giant bass. And I, I want to be catching fish all over the U.S. Got it. It's running at me. I think it's a little guy, yeah. <laughs> Just a little guy. Just a little guy there. Dude, on the fall. <laughs> on the fall. On the fall. Go back, buddy. My 200 gigabyte SD card has 30 seconds left on it, guys. Let's see if I can get a catch here in the next 20 seconds. If it goes off, nothing happened. I'll see you guys back at the office. <laughs> come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. No. We are back in the office here as you can see and I guess what I want to do is sum up this video by saying um, spring fishing has got to be one of the funnest times to fish you know fish are staging they're getting ready to spawn or they're in post spawn these fish are more active the more aggressive territorial it is by far one of my favorite times to fish and I mean really you could say any time of the year that you're getting bit you know is your favorite time to fish but I think spring is by far the most consistent time to catch active aggressive bass and I guess you could say the same thing about fall 
but uh, you got better weather in the spring, no doubt. But with that said, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. You can go ahead and hit that like button for me real quick if you did. I'd greatly appreciate it. But most importantly, subscribe if you haven't already. Subscribe, join the tribe, and this quest to catch fish of a lifetime. Guys, I'll see you in the next one. Here we go.